Today we are going to see how we can make a snake chain. Before we go through the how-tos, I'll show you a few projects that the snake chain can be used for. So it can be used to support a pendant, it can be used together with other netting techniques to finish a necklace or it can be used on its own here as a base for a very delicate necklace. Now that you've seen a few ways in which the snake chain can be used, I would encourage you to see first the tutorial where I um, show you the thread path for loops. Uh, this snake chain is basically a sequence of loops. The um, snake chain starts with a base unit of three seed beads. So pick up three seed beads and close the loop. And this is how we close the loop. And pull the thread. So we have this triangle. Now, the first step. Beads. And we close the loop. If the thread goes out from this seed bead, this is the next seed bead to it, and we close the loop. We pull the thread. When we pull the thread, we see that one of the beads will stick out, and this is what I call a peak, and then we will have some beads on the what I call side and here we have one, two, three beads. Now step two. We skip the next seed bead near the one where the thread exits and we close the loop in the next one. we pull the thread. When we pull the thread the peak is made and we have two seed beads on the side. And from now on we just repeat step one and step two. And here is a tip for you to know when you drop the work for a moment or for a day and you don't know where you left it or which is the next step to continue with, always check the side of the chain. If you have two on the side, then the next step requires you to add three seed beads. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And then you close the loop going through the next one. Pull the thread here you have the peak and one, two, three on the side. If you have three on the side, you always add two seed beads. And you skip this one and you go through the next one. Closing the loop. So, for instance, you have dropped your work and you take it and you are asking yourself, do I add two or three seed beads? Obviously, after you have pulled well, you can see your peak 
and 2 on the side. If you have 2 on the side, you are adding 3 seam beads. So this is the step with the, where you add the 3 seam beads. You pull. Here you have the peak and three beads on the seed on the side. Having three on the side, this means that you are going to add two. Skip one and close the loop. This is the peak two on the side. This means that I'm going to add three and close the loop okay and here we have three on the side add two and close the loop after we skip the middle one out of the three and this is how you continue until you have the desired length